Hello, hello. It's another what I eat in a week. I think this time around, but yeah, we're gonna go into Sunday. I had this shrimp rice noodle and I'm just pouring soy, soy sauce over it. Um, I don't know why, but my noodles were not cooperating with me. Um, but this is a really nice, simple meal that reminds me of dim sum, um, which I haven't gone to in a hot minute. And in addition to that, I just had milk tea and raisin bread that my dad picked up for me at my local bakery store. Um, and then as a snack, I wanted to eat Cheetos. Um, I prefer regular Cheetos over hot Cheetos. Don't come at me, but yeah, that's just my preference. I think this was dinner for that day, but my mom made this thing called nanjito, which is noodle, but it's kind of like a like a antipasta, has cabbage, minced chicken. I also had this soup on the side, which has fish cakes. Normally there's an egg, but my mom forgot to make that, so she like made a quick hot boiled egg for me, and it didn't come out that great looking, but um, the yolk was still fine. And then the next day I had more rice noodles um, with fish balls, and this is covered with peanut and soy sauce, and it's so good. I think this place that I specifically picked up at put in a little bit of hot sauce, like sriracha or something. So good. And then after that, I just had watermelon and I had a brownie um, from, I think it was a pizuki that I had um, from like a dessert for a meal from another day. But anyways, on another day, I had this uh, spicy stir fry. And what I'm doing now is just kind of reheating up my rice, like making it again in the ceramic bowl. So I just added in some water. Um, I'm cooking up the rice again just to make it warm, fluffy, and chewy. And then on another side, I have a boiling pot of water um, because I wanted to add bubbles to milk the milk tea that I had the other day that I didn't finish um, and then what I'm doing is just um, putting some of the stir fry into the ceramic pot just to heat it up a little bit um, and inside the stir fry there is um, like thinly sliced beef, cabbage, uh, fish tofu, I think what else there is, oh there's like wood ear, mushroom as well um, and it's like a spicy stir fry and after my bubbles were done boiling and cooking up, um, I'm just gonna mix it with cold water a little bit so that it stops the cooking and makes it a little bit more chewy rather than super soft. And I'm just going to add that to my milk tea. And that day I was actually like feeling on my munchies or something like kept wanting to eat um, so I actually had leftover kimchi fried rice uh, from a dinner that I ate with my sister um, it actually has egg and cheese in it which is so good and then for a dessert I had this piña loca lollipop which is supposed to be like a pineapple lollipop with like some the hot spices that you would normally put in like mango and stuff like that um, and then I also had a pika slice, which is a lot better actually, and that's the watermelon with the spice. Um, and the next day I had Yunnan rice noodles. Thinly sliced, I think, beef, pork, and I added a little bit um, of some spicy sauce, and there's some pickled, um, pickled green beans in there. And then for dessert, I have a cookie from McDonald's, and this Aime green tea red bean ice cream bar. One side of it is like green tea and the red bean and then the other side is just like a vanilla cream. It tastes so good. I prefer the grass jelly one over the red bean one, but it's still really good. Um, and then the next day, I am eating this thing called cho chin jol, which is sweet and sour stir fry. And inside there's like baby corn, carrot, cabbage, um, and then my mom also um, fried up uh, fish um, and so I'm having that over rice. If you ever had any like sweet and sour 
like sweet and sour like soup or sweet and sour from like the Chinese restaurants that's pretty much how it tastes like um, and then for dessert I'm having some cereal and yogurt um, don't judge me but I think Greek yogurt is a little too thick for me so I like to water it down a little bit and I'm using silk milk or soy silk soy milk to water it down and once I have that watered down I am going to add in raisin bran because that was a cereal that I had open at that time um, and I struggled a little bit to pour that in which is why you probably see a little bit on the side and then um, I don't I don't I think I had a stir fry again for dinner that day and I didn't want to show it because I already had it for that week so I just skipped over to showing you guys what I have for dessert which is my favorite durian with ice cream in this milk ice base with taro ball it is so so good the taro ball is just like coated in this nice caramel thing which is so good um, and then for another day I am trying this Heidi is it Heidi Lao uh, mini hot pot so Heidi Lao actually has like a self-heating ramen hot pot thingy as well but I didn't pick that up I picked it I picked up this one instead and this is just a vegetable one so I'm unpacking everything that they have inside which is just pickled veggies, vermicelli noodles and they also have like the soup and spicy base which it's it's like a hot spicy tingly which I haven't had in such a long time it's so good um, you just have to pop this into your microwave for seven minutes and everything actually cooks pretty well um, so it's kind of expensive but I mean if you're having like an all-in-one meal and you want something quick and easy I guess that would be it although I think making your own hot pot or a mini hot pot is quite easy as well and um, I was actually fascinated by the chopstick as well because it gives you like the base and the top in separate and then you have to put it together um, they actually do this in some restaurants just for sanitary purposes um, and inside they have um, in the pickled veggies they have like lotus root, potato, seaweed, bamboo shoot. Um, I thought this would taste really good with tofu so I actually added in um, tofu with this and yes it is very good. I actually um, couldn't even finish this on that one sitting so I finished up all the vermicelli noodles with whatever veggies I could and then save the broth and the rest of the veggies for another meal which I think you'll see in the following week or so um, and then um, I actually my, my family actually got this black sticky rice mango with the snow ice um, dessert so I'm eating that to calm down the heat that I got from the Heidi Lao mini hot pot my last meal for the video is a revived superfood smoothie I think that's the grass is greener one and my dad made me two hot dogs um, sad looking hot dogs but tasted good <laughs> that is all that I have for this week of what I eat hope you liked the video if you did remember to just give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all in another one bye